Hey guys, welcome back to Dieter Plays, and I've got the latest here in Roblox news, so without further delay, we're just going to get right into it. We've got some leaks, we've got some updates, and we've got some tips and some uh, actual some feedback from Roblox about some stuff, which is really cool that you guys will want to check out. So, uh, first thing we're going to go over right now is the leaks. So we've got a couple of items, let's see, four, five, six items that have shown up lately, and they are our throw contest items. So, we get to see a sneak peek at all of these awesome packages that are going to be coming very soon. So uh, we have three items here for Avin. So we got Avin's hat, we've got Avin's cape, and we've got Avin's sword. So if you guys are wondering what Avin looks like, this is what Avin is going to look like. I really like it. So it's Avin, aka the Silver Warrior by Angelarison. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but these are people who have won the Arthro contest, and it looks like they're already starting to create these, and they've already built some of these things and uploaded some of them into the catalog. They're not available quite yet, but it looks like this is going to be one of the early ones that we get to check out, and we're going to check out all the other ones that are becoming, going to be coming. Um, as far as that whole contest, they did a blog uh, not too long ago that showed you kind of images. They took all the images uh, from Twitter and they put these on here. We're going to take a look at all of these as well, just real quick. Uh, this one right here, Beck's hair, which showed up. Kind of looks kind of weird hair, but when you see what Beck looks like, this looks like pretty cool. So the hair doesn't look quite like the drawing. Uh, it's pretty close though, but Beck looks like it's going to be a very, very cool Arthro avatar. Beck, the fire god, scars exposing magma under his skin. So he's got magma under his skin. That one looks pretty cool. This looks almost like a really neat anime sort of character. I'm not sure with all the different colors going on here. Maybe this is just the color palette that was used on this guy. So that is Beck. The next one we see here is Tev Diver Bot's back valve. So this is Tev Diver Bot's back valve. You can see it's just a little mechanical valve sort of thing. Uh, this one was uh, another one made by Mia, Tev Diver's boot. It says, I don't know, it said Ted Diver's Bot. See, it's like Ted Diver Bot, but over here it said, Ted Diver's boot. I, I don't I don't know really, uh, but it's shrimp tail legs. <laughs> I like it. Radioactive fuel going down the back, and here is the valve that we see right here. You can see that is the back valve, and it looks like they put the color palettes that they used here as well. That's really interesting. I like how they how they do that with the color palettes. Some very talented work here from a lot of these guys. Now these are some other ones. We're gonna just take a quick look at the other ones that are coming very soon to the catalog. But these ones have not, they haven't put anything on the catalog yet, so there might be a little bit more time until these Arthro packages come out, but who knows, it, it could actually end up having, uh, they could end up coming out all at the same time. So this one is the Clawed Companion, looks like it's one of those um, claw games, but the, the head's actually sticking up. I like it, really cool concept right there, very original. This one, Luna Gal Galactic Pop Star. Uh, this is great. Uh, it looks like it almost would be like a character from like Steven's universe. Like this is a crystal gem that comes out here and it's a different new gem. What gem would it be? I don't know. Uh, but this one, definitely a cool looking package and the, the art is just uh, fantastic. I, I, the talented art that these people have is just so impressive. All right, this one right here is Beatrix. It is Beatrix the Bee Cadet. I like that one. Some of these, you know, looks girl packages, some of them guy packages, so I'm definitely not going to get some of them. But, uh, see, I like this one right here, Davey Bazooka. So, you guys know the, the CEO and the creator of Roblox, you know, David Bazooka. Uh, it, it's spelled a little differently, but this is Davey Bazooka. <laughs> so, it's like David, but he's, like, super strong and super tough. He's got a he's got a pack, a six-pack of the uh, Bloxy Cola, little hammer. I like how they showed all the little Z details and zoomed in there on the picture as well. This next one that's going to be hitting the catalog is Zero the Mech Racer. Totally looks like an anime sort of character. Really like it. Good work. Probably not something I'm going to I'm going to get, but uh, this one here the Timber Elf. He almost looks like he's from like a specific type of game, doesn't he? Maybe from like Vesteria or something like that. He looks like a package that would kind of work really good in Vesteria, but I'm not sure if they actually support Arthro in that one. So uh, anyways, hopefully more games are going to be supporting Arthro so we can wear these in the games and they don't look derpy. Uh, next one here, uh, Skyless the Skyland Delivery Girl. Sweet. So she has wings. Uh, hopefully she'll be, I, I love it though if a package 
comes with wings because those wings it's like a backpack mechanical wings even just the wings right there would be a cool item so uh that's that's what's cool about these you know they're gonna come with other stuff it looks like this one's gonna end up having a whole bunch of stuff as a part of the package like its own little unique face its own unique wings its own unique hat stuff that might even go good with other packages who knows next one here is nick or by nick this is uh cycloc the tired wizard uh looks like a clock to me more than a wizard but you know okay you know maybe it's sort of like uh now dr strange can turn back time. i don't know but it is a clock you can be a clock <laughs> uh this one i like i like this one the usagi the usagi probably not saying that correctly but it looks like it's a uh, uh, some sort of mechanical rabbit thing that's in a gang <laughs> it looks like a mechanical rabbit that's in a gang and i like how it's it's rabbit's tail it's got like a lucky rabbit's foot or tail i, I don't know but this is great this this one's great i might actually end up getting this one so also of these packages which one do you guys like the most i kind of want to know in the comments let me know which one's your guys' favorite of all these packages this next one uh vi battle witch or v the battle witch i'm not sure if it's v or vi steel toed shoes heavy boots you got a crazy little mask that's with like a with like a face of a deer or something over there okay and then a uh, really cool little face underneath so that you could take that thing that weird looking face thing off if possible um where's her nose in there oh yeah she doesn't have a nose it's just kind of like a little it's just a little little line okay uh next one scythrex this one is cool i love it comes with a really cool sword so hopefully this sword is included as a part of the package i hope it is uh it looks like it's on the back so it's a back sword the arm is broken it's a broken cyborg arm and it's detached and then it's like held together by particles here this one looks like it's going to be really really awesome and almost could be like part of one of the uh, uh one of the uh, groups like i don't know core blocks or death speakers it looks like they could start their whole a whole new group here for that whole thing i i like it guys that is really cool uh so now uh moving on past that we've got some brand new stuff that has just hit the catalog we're not going to go over every single thing here there's just a few things we're going to take a close look at uh let's see so of course beeism has added a whole bunch of really good new hair um to to the catalog uh i think her her work is just always just so much more colorful and just the way she builds it is just it's she's really talented um but let's see what i want to take a look at here these these pumpkins these pumpkin heads look really really awesome so we're gonna try these on and see how those look as well also this thing the devilish goatee curious how that thing looks the worm mustache we gotta see how that one looks too the row rods they've got they've got airpods dude airpods so reverse polarity i'm starting to like the stuff that he's putting together and uh, this one uh, by Yorius, the Woodland Camo Bandana. That's a really cool looking one too as well. So let's go take a look at this one. The Gourd, the Gourd in a Gourd. A Gourd in a Gourd. A Gourd, gourd in a Gourd. So this one is a Gourd inside of a Gourd. So it's a pumpkin inside of a pumpkin. It looks like a skeleton pumpkin inside of an outer pumpkin. But let's try this bad boy on and see how it looks. All right, there we go. It looks like just kind of a normal pumpkin head. But then obviously from the front, it's like somebody cut that and you can still see the eyeballs through that too <laughs> that's pretty good i like it i like it let's take a look at the next pumpkin one that we've got here made by reverse polarity the white mystic pumpkin now this one's creepy i almost want to carve my pumpkin like this this year because that is a really cool white pumpkin with kind of the blue and the pink we're going to try this one on as well and see how it looks you didn't pick this pumpkin from the pumpkin patch it picked you something tells me this one is uh haunted super creepy bet it smells in there but it, <laughs> i don't know there, we almost need to do something there's a way to kind of like black out the inside because it's kind of weird that you can see the face inside of there but then it's kind of cool that you can see the face too but the eyeballs don't really line up the way it did with the other one so uh really cool like only 80 robux for this one 100 robux for the other one all right let's take a look at this one the pumpkin you didn't pick oh he looks like a sad little pumpkin he's only 50 he's sad give him a hug you monster give him a hug you monster oh he's crying he's got little sad eyeballs coming from the side so apparently these pumpkins though were part of a contest that reverse polarity had so this is first second and third place as a part of that contest but yeah he's a poor sad little pumpkin so he's the pumpkin that you didn't pick all of these pretty reasonably priced now this one the devil's goatee just the way it looks i just don't know if it's gonna line up quite right all right, so yeah, that sort of lines up with my particular face that I've got. It doesn't really work, but yeah, the mustache goes right over the 
the mouth and then the goatees right there. It still looks really weird. I almost want to get this with like the face with the nose and the ears. That it's <laughs> we're gonna start getting too far there, but with with my face it looks like it's puking the stuff. But it's part of a full package, so there's other items that are intended to go with this one as well for that look. I just wanted to see how it would look on my avatar. Now the 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 AirPods. I'm curious if we're even gonna be able to see these as well. All right, there you go. You can see them sort of. Yeah, those are weird. They, they just stick right out of the head. I, I mean, headphones look cooler, in my opinion. In the game, these are more convenient in real life. But, guys, remember, there's there's all this RF going on in between. And you might you might mess up the scramble the brain of your Roblox character. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, this one right here, the worm stash. Not sure where Dysoft thought of a worm stash. But this is pretty hilarious. And I gotta try it out. <laughs> Alright, so it sort of matches at least the color of my avatar. This just, this looks really weird. It's only 15 Robux, so it's kind of like could be funny. But it almost more, it's more like two, it's, two worms are coming out of my nose than anything else. Or maybe one, a worm is going in one nostril and then coming out the other nostril. But it just, it doesn't look as much like a mustache as it is a worm coming out of my nose. That's hilarious so okay so those are the ones that i just wanted to feature here today some of these we've got uh casual gamer headphones so headphones that actually go around the neck instead of around the head so that's kind of cool and also this woodland camo bandana that is another cool looking one there from these guys some of these have i think changed the prices and just found their way a little further up in the catalog so uh that's how that happens sometimes now we're just going to take a, a look at one little thing here roblox put up a blog entry yesterday and i thought this was really interesting and you guys might want to take a look at it and also it's something that you may want to show to your parents at some point uh just so they can kind of consider things from this perspective uh the question that it raises why does my child get frustrated when playing video games because I mean, don't you guys get frustrated sometimes playing games? I mean, sometimes it's crazy. Like, sometimes we rage when we get wrecked. And it's like, yeah, games are supposed to be fun. But sometimes, you know, people look at uh, kids, you know, when they're having a hard time shouting, throwing the controller, being a little frustrated. Uh, it, then it emphasizes here, playing games online is no different from playing at a park where kids will experience a lot of different emotions during one playing session. Most things with a competitive aspect can lead to brief feelings of anger, but also a desire to try harder the next time and beat that opponent. Uh, opponent. Uh, so it says, think about the uh, passion displayed by top sports people like Serena Williams and as this Cristiano Ronaldo, who I'm not sure if I said that correctly, uh, but anyways, you know, people play, you know, and people get frustrated in real life about things, about sports, and that's what this is. Like, video games is play, and sometimes it's competitive, and sometimes people get frustrated. So if people could just understand that, we are human, and just because it's part of a quote-unquote video game doesn't mean that people have to be automatons and they can't have emotions and be passionate about what they're doing in the game. So if you guys ever have parents, if you guys are frustrated and your parents are like, you know, snap out of it or stop getting so angry, uh, then maybe show them a link to this blog. I can put this here in the description so you guys can take a look at it. Uh, but, you know, uh, maybe parents could just su suggest regular breaks, set limits, uh, but just try to understand, you know, you wouldn't be able to switch yourself off that easily when they're asking a lot of people who are playing video games to do the same thing. So a little bit of understanding that goes into it uh, and be being a good role model. So this is kind of a good thing for the parents. So if you ever think it's useful, then maybe send this link, have your parents check it out, or even, even before it's necessary, just to have your parents take a look at this and maybe they'll have a little bit more of an understanding what you're doing and a little bit more understanding for you in general so uh, i hope this has been helpful for you guys uh, if you're new would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching and we will talk to you guys later